we're going to go over conversation, conversational programming a little bit here. On your F5 screen, it says conversation. If you click on it, uh, you can put in your description for your wizard name, or we're just going to go test. And one, put the date in if you want. Output code, we're going to go test one. Then you come down and you've got your operations. If you double click on this, it tells you what your options are. These are basic generic um, programs that you can run, okay? Uh, as an example for the profile cut, if I double click on profile, select, I can do a profiling program and it's got all your X start, X end, Y start, Y end. This will do basic square shapes. Uh, the other ones will do round shapes. This, you cannot generate corner radiuses in this. So these are just basic general roughing out programs, okay? Uh, so on this one, I would, I would just put in, put in profile for that. My tool number is gonna to be tool number one. Okay, spindle speed. My spindle speed will say is gonna be 1500. Cutting feed rate, I'm gonna put it at 8.0, which is kind of high, but uh, depending on our cuts. Z feed rate, if you're doing a plunge, we're gonna put this at 2.0. Z clearance, I generally go 0 0.1, 50 thousandths or 100 thousandths above the part. Okay, and my tool diameter is 0.375. Then you come over here to start my X. This is a three inch square block we have. So it's gonna be minus 1.5. And for the X is 1.5. Y end is gonna be plus 1.5 from center. Y start minus 1.5. Profile Y end. Let's say I'm gonna take a uh, we're gonna cut a one inch square out of the middle. So for my profile for YN, this is gonna be 0.5. Profile start is gonna be minus 0.5. X profile start is gonna be minus 0.5. And profile end and X is gonna be 0.5. Center being zero in inch minus 0.5 plus 0.5. Then we come down here, my start for my Z is going to be Z0, 0, 0.0. The depth of my cut uh, for this, I'm just gonna come down 10 thousandths. Uh, end of my cut, minus 10 thousandths. Then I go and I hit save, and it tells me I have an error. It's because I put a minus in there. It just wants an incremental amount, not a direction, so 0 0.01. Now I hit save, and it wants to know what my wizard file name is gonna be. We'll keep it the same. Test one, and save. It says wizard file is saved. Uh, another one, let's go down here, just so I can show you this. The circular pocket uh, in Bobcad and other softwares, when they come down and do a circular pocket, it will go down into the middle, it will come straight out a radial amount, and then start to cut the circle, okay? When you do that, coming straight out means you're doing a full width slot cut, and then you're stopping. Every time you do that, when you stop, it causes your, your cutter to chatter, okay? And this is on any machine. The way that Masso has this set up is the circular pocket does a spiral generation of the, the pocket. This is a much better process and I would recommend using this for any uh, ID circles or OD circles that you're gonna cut. When you do it this way, it comes down and then it feeds out slowly to the radius it's gonna cut. And then each time it makes a full revolution, it then spirals out to the next radius. When you cut this way, you have basically a, a consistent 
uh, depth and width of cut the entire time you're, you're going through. There's no change, there's no stopping the motion. So you don't get witness marks or anything else. So on this one, let's go, uh, we'll just call it pocket. Okay, tool number, I'm gonna use tool number one again. Okay, RPMs, I'm gonna say 2,000. Okay, cutting feed rate, I'm gonna go 6.0. Z feed rate, 2.0. Z clearance, uh, I'll go 50 thousandths. 05, tool diameter, 0.375. Okay, X center, it's gonna be 0, 0.0. Y center is going to be 0, 0.0. Okay, the diameter that I want to cut, we just have a one inch square, so we'll say uh, 0 0.75. The start on my Z is going to be 0, 0.0. That's my decimal. The depth of cut is going to be 0 0.010. ZN is going to be minus 0.0. 0, 1, 0, 10 thousandths. Then I'm going to save. Okay, again, if I had any errors, it would have stopped and given me an alarm like it did on the, on the profile. So I'm going to go save wizard, and it saves my wizard. I'm going to go post to G code. When I go post to G code, if there was something, you know, if, if I had a, an asterisk or anything, or my, my name was too long for my g-code output it would give me a warning here telling me that my name is inappropriate and i would have to change the name of the program it actually likes test one so it did that without any problem so now i'm going to go to load program and generally if you look here we have test one.nc and we have test one whiz if i click on the test one whiz and i hit load it's going to take me back to the wizard file. I can come back in here and edit it or add other operations. So the program I want, if I want to run it, is the test1.nc, not the test1.wiz. And I just hit load, and it shows you the program that it's going to run right there. Okay? So I've already touched my tool off on the top of this. I go into my program and rewind. I'm in single block right now. I'm going to start walking through. Okay, the next move is going to be minus 1.3, minus 1.3. So right there. Before I make the cut, it's going to do a plunge cut. It's only going 10 thousandths deep, which shouldn't be too bad. But to be on the safe side, up here you've got G-code, which is showing now, and you have overrides. So right now the feed rate is at 100% and the RPMs are at 100%. I'm going to slow down the feed rate to about 35%. And I'm going to leave the RPMs where they are. And I'm going to hit G-code again. Okay, right there is my start. And we're making cuts. Okay. Take it off single block. And we're off and going. So it'll cut. Show you the, the program that you've got it here. Okay, right now I can go back to my feed rate overrides. I can pick up the feed rate. And we're cutting this with no oil. Alright, 
So anyhow, that's how you start walking through your part. Don't want to bore you with watching a half hour of the cutting material here, but that's how you walk.